guys, I was digging through my tire bin and saw these. Haven't run these in quite a while. By RC Four Wheel Drive, the Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X. Now these are a real gummy tire. They do have a two stage foam in them, kind of uh, tight, sort of. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna show this to you on the table. Get it outside and see if these tires still got the hookup. Let's get to the table. Well, let's look at these right here. Yeah, I do not have hardly any wear on these things, do I? <laughs> they just haven't been run very much. Nice, gummy. Let's see what they can do on the Phoenix. Let's see what these things have got. Oh, wait. There we go. I gotta tell you, the body is nice, but it kind of is like, I don't know, a little bit odd looking, really. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. Find that thing. Oh, here we go. I'm finding that if I shift into heavy overdrive, 33%, it really helps that front end pull up, over, and around on a lot of that stuff. Now these tires, in some cases I've found that even though they're so gummy and should do so well, they just seem to slide on the surface more so than actually go, if that makes any sense. Now this is a good little climb here for these trucks. It's really tough, at least for the vast majority of vehicles. This one seems to get it without much of an issue though there we go bring it on down this right here Ooh. <laughs> that was two-wheel drive <laughs> what I need to do is put some really really fast motor in this thing so I can rip donuts that would be awesome Get the hook. <laughs> See if we can get this line figured out. Oh! Nope. Not letting you go, big boy. Or, well, I've been driving the six by the six by six, the SEX six today. Oh, there we go. A little bit excessively grassy right now. I've uh, been doing some trimming and haven't got the blower out yet, but let's see if we can get the right hook here. I really should not be even on this. This is a good one to roll it over. See? And of course, we may as well slip on into the crack. And it got it once or twice, I believe, didn't it? So, no, it got it. Oh. See, I'm going to end up beating up this body. Then I'm going to put something else on it. Oh. Say I really liked it with the SV2 body, that Pro Line body. That thing was uh, pretty darn awesome on here. Look at that pull down using dig. I'm gonna try to take it out this way. Wow, nice. This is one of those. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Let's see if today is. Um, 
Not looking so good. <laughs> Not looking so good at all. Let's see here. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm offline though. I'm too far to the right. Am I looking for an excuse to change the body now? All right, we are still in 33 overdrive. There we go, there we go. Easy does it. All right, we're gonna get right over here, get down low. At this point, we're gonna go into 6% overdrive. I didn't want it to pull that back so hard. Right Try some dig action to bring it out of this. Nice. Let's see how far up the ramp these can get. Doing about as good as anything. to the crack of 50 and 54 on the back. Looks like it's a little bit past it, in all honesty. The front right tire is in the air. These tires are really rapid. Nope. I will crash it off of this. Well, guys, I got to tell you, they hooked up really good. Uh, there were a few areas I thought maybe the compound could have gripped a little bit better, but overall, I think they've done pretty darn good. The tires are uh, gummy, you know, and I kind of mentioned that earlier. I also mentioned sometimes it's like there's a certain spots here and there where they should grip, but instead they just kind of slip. And that may be because of the gumminess. Maybe I need a uh, more supportive internal foam in these. Something a little bit, I don't know, something to hold the tread a little bit better. Because uh, I got a heck of a sag just sitting there like that, you know. But anyway, um, the tires did fine. The more I drive the Phoenix, the more I like it. Uh, selectable overdrive and two-wheel drive. Who would have guessed? I love those features. I really do. Um, anyway, I will put links to all this down below. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They are affiliate links. They do help out the channel when you guys use them. Um, so guys, uh, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.